All right, so today I'm gonna to spend my lunch break working on my dad's old tractor. So I was bush hogging recently and uh, started hearing some noises and then the shear pin broke and I replaced the shear pin twice and it immediately broke again. So I pulled apart the, the PTO shaft of the tractor and I'll show you what I found. So here is the gear that goes on the fifth shaft in the tractor. It's supposed to be a 17 uh, tooth gear and you can see quite a few of the gears are chipped out of that. And then here is the gear that goes on the PTO shaft and you can see one of the gears, one of the teeth chipped out of that gear as well. So I pulled apart the back of the tractor, uh, cleaned out a bunch of the debris that I found in there, drained all the hydraulic fluid, and uh, soaked several of the parts in a bucket of diesel and cleaned those up last night. So here I'm about to put it back together. All right, so before I start uh, putting stuff back together, I noticed as I was uh, looking in here that there's still a little bit of metallic debris inside there. I had pulled out a bunch of the, the gear metal last week with a magnet, but what I'm finding now looks like aluminum from the, uh, the housing on the back of the tractor. So I'm gonna use a little bit of diesel and a toothbrush and just clean out the debris that I see in there. Now I think I've got that cleaned out good enough. Set the bucket of diesel aside and start putting together the back of the tractor. So I got my new 17 tooth sprocket for the fifth shaft. Taps. I'm going to alternate size there. Went down. Right. Now I've got my new 18 tooth sprocket for the PTO shaft. Here's where I wish I had a video of pulling this apart because I can't see I see this uh, this gear has a raised part on this side and it's flat on that side so I need to know whether this goes on like that or like that so I suspect it's like this but I need to double check that before I put it together So it wasn't obvious from the parts diagram which way these gears are supposed to go on, so I'm going to figure it out. So I'm pretty sure that the raised section on the gear is to keep the gear from rubbing the bearing. So I set up both gears where uh, the raised section is facing toward the bearing, and I'm going to stick the shaft in now before I put the, uh, the key. 
keeper on here and make sure that that's correct before I move on. Okay, I do see that the gears line up properly whenever I put it in this position, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach it all together. There was a couple of things I did off camera, but you can see now I put the retaining clip back on to hold that gear in place. And then on the PTO shaft, I put the bolt back in with the retainer and bent that tab to keep the bolt from falling back out. So now I'm gonna have to take my second hand and uh, use that to put it all back together again. All right, I have a quick confession. When I shot that last video, I put the PTO shaft in and the shims had fallen out into my parts washer. So when I put it together, there was a lot of slack in the PTO shaft. And fortunately, I, I recognized that and pulled it all apart again, found the shims in the pressure in the parts washer and put it all back together and it's working great. Uh, went ahead and did a little bit of mowing with it over the summer. It's been a little while now, uh, but everything's working great. So uh, just one last thought I wanted to leave you guys with. Whatever's true, whatever's noble, whatever's right, whatever's pure, if there's anything excellent or praiseworthy, that's what you should think about.